Hello and welcome to this edition of Biology Bites. And today I'm going to be talking about something that's kind of been bugging me for a while. And that's this whole fact that bass get sluggish in the summertime. And when the water temperatures warm up, bass get sluggish and retreat out to deeper, cooler water to feed. Well, why do all these articles keep telling me that bass prefer a temperature between 60 and 72 when they're warm water fish? And during my upbringing, I always learned and heard that bass preferred water in the 80s. Now, when I used to do research on this for when I was in school for fisheries wildlife, all the journals I found did tell me that bass prefer and have a metabolism that is the best for feeding, digesting, and growth between 25 degrees Celsius and 32 degrees Celsius. Fahrenheit, that's 77 to 89.6. Yet all the articles I read, fishing articles, tell me that bass prefer 60 to 72. Their, their highest rating is five degrees lower than what all the scientific studies say is the best temperature for bass to feed, digest, and grow. It doesn't make sense. And then this article I was reading, and in Fisherman, he tried to tell me that anyway bass can tolerate 80 degree water. They leave the shallows during the day because they go where the bait is. So they retreat out to deeper water. And evidently they like colder water, which doesn't seem right to me because they're a warm water fish. But I don't know, I've spent 30 years walking around probably over 100 lakes and ponds. And I see teeming life in the shallows. You'll see bluegill, you'll see red air plus other panfish. Um, you'll see lots of baby bass, you'll see minnows and shad, and you'll see crawdads. So somebody better tell these bait fish that they need to go out to deeper, colder water because that's where the bass is going to look for them because they're not supposed to be here in the shallow when the water is warm. And the other thing they try to say is, well, yeah, but when the water warms up, it's dissolved oxygen goes down. Well, studies have shown that even in 90 degree water, with good vegetation and weed growth, it can get super saturated with oxygen in the middle of a hot, sunny day. There's been tests where it's up to 13 parts per million, and fresh water usually only goes up to about 10. So there is tons of oxygen in the shallows, yet again, this myth that they don't hang out in the shallows, and this myth that they don't stay active when the water gets warm, when all the evidence and their thousands of years of evolution points to the fact that their metabolism is the best when the water's in the 80s. So I just don't understand where this myth came from, but it's not true. I've spent tons of time in the summer, July, August, September, fishing fast, catching fish, and I usually fish no deeper than four to six feet of water. So it's a myth, and I'm going to do some more investigation on this. and dive into it a little deeper in a few more segments. So I hope this helps. Until next time.